Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through a use case for the cell noise shader. So the cell noise is a pattern generator used to create shading effects such as marble, granite, and uh, leather patterns. And we're going to go through this caustic style pattern to create uh, a caustic uh, effect using a spotlight with a gobo. It's also this written tutorial here if you want to follow along to go into a bit more detail and the scene files for all the plugins. I'll put links in the description. So I'm going to start off by creating a polygon plane and a spotlight. And just point the spotlight down onto the plane. Just move it up a bit. And then under the Arnold attributes for the spotlight, go down to light filters and add a, a gobo light filter there. Just double click on that. So under slide map, we're going to create a range shader just to give us some more control over how the cell noise effect looks. And then in the input, let's create a cell noise there. Let's start off a render. Okay, so under the cell noise, we're going to disable the additive, uh, increase the number of octaves, and increase the scale in X and Y. And then we need to make the coordinate space, set that to UV, so that we use the plane's local UV coordinates. And then under range, we're going to invert the effect by changing the output min to 1 and the output max to 0. And then enable smooth step so we can re remap the smooth step function rather than, rather than linearly. So we go back to the cell noise and I'm just going to reduce the linearity to something like 1.1. And then cell noise has a time attribute which we can animate, which kind of gets us almost there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect another cell noise to the randomness. So just duplicate this cell noise and connect the out color R to the randomness of the first cell noise. Okay, so under the time attribute, now if we animate that, you can see it gives you this distorted uh, effect, kind of rippling effect. You might want to play around with the scale as well for the, the ripple effect. I'm going to leave it as is for now. And then I'm just going to go back to the gobo and increase the density a bit and change the filter mode to mix. So it averages the results between the spotlight and the slide map. And then under the range, I'm going to just increase the contrast. Feel free to tweak, tweak these values as, as you see fit. So all that's left now is to animate the time for each cell noise. So I'm going to create some keyframes. So cell noise to uh, set the time to zero and keyframe that. And in frames, it says one point two, and the same for cell noise one. So the keyframe two and cell frame frame one set it to zero. So now when we scroll through the timeline, you can see getting something approaching a acoustic pattern effect. I'm just going to tweak the density bit and the gobo just to get a better result. Okay, so that's the cell noise shader used to create a caustic pattern effect in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.